Paul Harriet with you at the National Concert Hall in Dublin, where the second work on our Friday concert this evening sees the Irish premiere of a recent work by the current RTE composer in residence, Gerald Barry. His piano concerto was written as a co-commission involving Musica Viva in Munich and the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and performed for the first time in Munich with the pianist Nicholas Hodges. Well, tonight, Hugh Tinney will perform uh, this work for us. Certainly for Gerald Barry, there's no doubt that the time that he spent early on in his career studying with composers such as uh, Stockhausen, for example, provided him with the most creatively liberating experience. And this more recent manifestation, as I say, to be brought to life for us this evening by Hugh Tinney. Hugh Tinney, the pianist, accepting the applause, shaking hands with Helena Wood and followed, of course, by Christian Machelara, our conductor this evening for this, the Irish premiere of Gerald Barry's Piano Concerto.
music that has been described as being imbibed with Beethovenian qualities of humour, rigour and rage. The Irish premiere of the Piano Concerto by Gerald Barry. Gerald Barry, of course, RT composer in residence. And Hugh Tinney with the RT National Symphony Orchestra under the direction this evening of Christian Macellari. And what a wonderful reception that work has received from the audience here at the National Concert Hall in Dublin. Barry with this work having been described as approaching the great tradition as a lover from afar, greeting it in exuberant and sometimes quite strange ways, but uh, nevertheless a piece that is most decidedly a piano concerto and vigorously embracing the idea of confrontation. And Gerald Barry himself now joining the RT National Symphony Orchestra. Hugh Tinney, pianist, our soloist this evening, and the RT National Symphony Orchestra to accept the applause here. From the audience in the National Concert Hall to this, as I say, the Irish premiere of this work, making this evening another of those uh, special and unique occasions for the RT National Symphony Orchestra and, of course, for all of us here on the Friday concert.